top of the fifth and Adam Frazier is on first base and that reminds me that I went to a Padres game yesterday and I got to see Adam Frazier live. And as his number one fan, of course we had to heckle a whole bunch of different Padres players. So if you want to see that vlog, the link is in the description and something should be popping up in the top right corner right now. But anyways, he looks like a fool because Ryan Weathers picks him off. Now I'll slow this down a little bit. I've laid side by side two different videos, one where Weathers is going to pick off and the other where he goes straight to the plate. And you tell me which one he's picking off in. If you're like me, you can't tell. Sure, at the top of his leg kick, his plant leg in one screen seems a little bit more bent than the other. But for the most part, it looks pretty similar. And this is why it's so dang hard to read left-handed pitchers. But if you're smart enough, you'll notice that on the video on your right, Adam Frazier is hitting. Which means the one on the left is the one of him getting picked off. Let's be smart, people. Let's be smart. Now, anytime a left-handed pitcher picks someone off, I always want to see if it's a balk. So, let's see. The first thing we're going to look for is if Ryan Weathers' right foot crosses the back end line of the pitching rubber. If his right foot ever passes the end line, then he has to go to the plate, and so this pickoff would be a balk. Now, this is the moment where Ryan's right foot is probably the closest to the end line. And from here, it kind of looks like it's not past the end line, but to be honest, this angle is kind of trash, so I can't really tell, to be honest. Now, one more thing I want to look at real quick is if you imagine a 45 degree angle off of the pitching rubber. If Weathers lands past that 45 degree angle line, then he has to throw to the plate. So again, this would have been a balk. Now, the stupid ad is blocking the way, but we kind of see where he lands here. And again, this angle is terrible, so I can't tell. Maybe this is a balk, maybe it's not, but at the very least, it's definitely a balk move. This is probably Weathers' top pickoff move. Now this pickoff matters because the next hitter hits this double which would have scored Adam Frazier if he was on first base I'm pretty sure. Would have been close but I think he scores on this. Now we move to the top of the sixth, one out, this guy gets a hit and the very next pitch he steals second base. Now the question is, did Stallings the batter get in the way of the catcher? If you watch this angle it looks pretty clear that he's not in the way of the catcher but I think Nola expected him to fall over more which is why he tried to throw it over him, which is why this throw was absolutely terrible. But I do think not calling the interference was the right call. Now this is where things get freaky because Stallings hits this routine ground ball and for some dang reason the runner scores from second base and Stallings isn't even out at first. But let's break this down a little bit. If you watch this, the middle infielders for the Padres aren't even trying to hold the runner at second. He feels no pressure at all for any sort of pickoff from the Padres. So he gets a pretty good jump on the steal, and as he's rounding third, you see the third base coach pointing. He's like, there's the ball, there's the ball, look at the ball. And he never stops, and he keeps going. Now one thing to notice here, any good third baseman sees this and starts screaming, 4-4-4-4-4, four, 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 throw home, throw home, throw home. Now I can't see Manny's lips. I don't know what he's saying. I don't know if he said anything at all. But he looks really, really complacent, and that's not a good thing. But who knows, maybe he said something that everyone else could hear on the field. Now, could the Padres have gotten the out at home? I think around here is when Cronenworth lets go of the ball to first base. And look at where the runner's at. He is barely around third base, maybe like a foot or two off the back. Cronenworth just throws a seed to first base, and Hosmer throws a seed to home. The runner's out by a mile. But even with the lackadaisical throw from Cronenworth, Hosmer still should have got the runner out at home. Look at where the runner is when Nola catches the ball. If this was a remotely good throw... The runner's out by like half a second. But again, Eric Hosmer is not the best defensive player to play first base. And I'm probably going to repeat that a couple more times before the season ends. Even with the stupid Cronenworth throw, this should have been an out of home. Now one last play from this inning that I kind of want to point out that doesn't really make a difference, but I thought it was pretty important. The very next batter hits this ground ball to Hassan Kim, and instead of getting a double play, he just decides to throw to first base. Now look at where the runner is when Hassan Kim fields the ball. He's barely, maybe not even halfway to second base. This is an easy out at second. Easy double play in the works. And it's hard to tell from these angles, but if you look at this small little clip, Manny is clearly running to second. Manny knows that they could turn a double play on this. Maybe Kim didn't think Manny could get there in time, or maybe he thought Stallings was like Usain Bolt out there. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on this play. But I do know that Kim could have easily got the double play because in the seventh inning, the same exact play happens and this time he does get the double play. But again, none of this matters because the Padres can't hit and they lose. 
That's your one moment. That's your one game. Now, 80% of you guys that watch these videos are not subscribed to this channel. And we recently hit 2,000 subscribers, so it would mean a lot if you subscribed and maybe we could get to 10k someday. Also, you guys wanted longer videos, so I made longer videos. So you better watch the whole thing now.